Thank you for joining me again on this Tuesday, September 23rd, 2025. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A second update up for us today as we watch really these twin systems, these twin tropical disturbances both look like they're going to be developing. The major concern right now is what's going on at the moment, which is the rain. And we have seen the downpours of St. Lucia. We even had a couple as far south as Trinidad and Tobago, Dominica. We woke up to the big rounds of rain. Now this area hasn't shift it south. Some of the rain and storms, I should clarify that. Some of the rain and storms have moved a little bit to the south, but the overall system is still making its way in this general direction, this first one. Here's the second area, and this up here, that'll move toward the Azores as potentially a strong uh, tropical storm by Thursday night. That's Gabrielle. That is up there. So plenty to cover. That's why I wanted to give you the second update. Fresh information for you. Thank you to the thousands of new subscribers just today. That does help share the video and it kind of helps get the video out there. So thank you for taking the time to do that. All right, here's what's going on. Here we are in Haiti, the Dominican Republic, scattered storms. Watch this with me. You see this little spin here. This one is not down at the surface. It's more above our heads. It's not tropical in nature, right? But this spin here is providing wind shear. I talk about that, right? Where you get the showers and storms building up and then you get wind shear and it knocks them off. That's what's happening to this. So I don't, uh, I, I like to show you the science when I can. Sometimes I leave it behind the scenes, but this little spin here is help one of the reasons we have some of that wind shear and that's why it took some of these storms kind of knocked their thunderstorm tops off and some of them kind of redeveloped to the south Barbados St. Lucia for example St. Vincent the Grenadines we've had rain I mentioned down toward Grenada in Trinidad and Tobago it's been active but the system is still as a whole really sitting on top of Antigua Barbuda although some of us are sunny it's still going to pull through right but this is the area that kind of caused it caused some of that wind shear to knock down some of those uh, thunderstorm tops Tops into this area here. Look all the way down through Venezuela, Trinidad and Tobago, isolated flooding possible. We'll be watching that. I mentioned Grenada, Barbados. You see these deeper colors in here. That means taller clouds. That means a lot in the way of tropical rain in those. So monitoring this, it's going to be a pattern the next really three days where some of us could be dry for a good portion of the day while others are getting dumped on. That is exactly what's going on now. But we really need to be mindful of the mudslide threat and the uh, flooding as a whole. So I want to start with that and then I'll get to the development, the European model, uh, how strong these areas could get, the American model. We're going to cover that in just a moment. But in this sector and really including Haiti as well, but a little bit more so uh, the DR all the way around through Dominica. But as I mentioned, as I mentioned, we have the rain even more to the south. I was just showing it to you in Barbados, for example, uh, over the next three days, though, as a whole, just in this general area, please spread the word about this. While it's not a named system at this point, doesn't need to be uh, for us to get some of those uh, big areas of rain. Tropical downpours, 150 millimeters of rain or six inches of rain will be a possibility. We saw quite a bit this morning in Dominica, then we caught a break. We may get more tonight and then again tomorrow. That's just one example of kind of the on and off nature of this. And some of us haven't gotten a lot yet, but it still needs to really all pull through. That's why I wanted to give you that update. While a lot of it has kind of seemingly shifted to the south, this is still going to live through. And look at these colors. Unfortunately, these darker colors. Look at Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Giving it the heads up, this system is going to provide a lot of rain, right? That is going to impact the power grid. Same thing, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. This is the heads up. Thank you for sharing this uh, video with your community, your friends and family. Again, not a named system, but we have a lot of rain moving in. You see Puerto Rico, for example, British U.S. Virgin Islands. Look at these colors. We're talking six, maybe eight inches of rain plus, just depending on where the downpour is set up. This is a model, so maybe this rain's a little bit over here. Maybe it's back toward the DR. We'll see. But just a ton of moisture. So again, giving you the heads up, we need to watch out for the flooding. It is going to be very serious with the flooding in uh, several locations. Then we swing to the south, Barbados, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, especially St. Vincent North. That's where we could see some spots of 75 millimeters of rain to 100 millimeters of rain or three to four inches of some rain. And then we'll see this eventually pulling back toward the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. We'll keep an eye on Haiti, uh, maybe enhanced a little bit. Jamaica uh, over toward eastern Cuba. Jamaica, we've had some storms around. Again, not fully associated with this area. This area is over here. But as this lifts to the north, Jamaica, we're going to see down the road a better chance of getting some rain and storms around. But this is not shooting toward Jamaica or the Cayman Islands. This is going to lift toward the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. 
all of the models are developing both of the, well, almost all of the models are developing both of these systems. This first area, as this approaches the Bahamas, the European, Canadian, and the ICON models eventually have this area develop into a hurricane, and they develop the area back behind it. The American model is actually now not developing this first one, and it's developing the one back behind it. I'll show you both of those if it's confusing, but point being, twin systems out there, both are developing highly uncertain. I let you know what I know and what I don't know. Highly uncertain just because they're still forming. It's harder to track a system that's still forming, but the biggest issue is all of this is happening very close to home where those water temps are really uh, very warm and there's not a lot of time to prepare. Something spins up, but that's why I do this channel. If I see something headed, headed your way, I'll give you the heads up. We'll go into uh, monitor mode, action mode, whatever we need as we watch these uh, areas. Now, here's the first area. And I mentioned sitting near uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, Antigua, Barbuda. This is going to generally make its way right through Puerto Rico and then kind of lift its way up toward the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. We're just starting to get a good feel on some of these uh, squiggly lines, gradually strengthening because again, right now it's dealing with the wind shear that we talked about and it's going to be moving over land. So slower development out of this area. But once it gets down the road, this is out in time. This is two days out, three days out, four days out. Once this approaches the Bahamas, that's when it could start to develop. Bahamas, we have 700 islands, actually a little bit over that. So I'll be able to fine tune if this is going to move into the Bahamas, maybe just to the east. If it impacts north, central, or south, I'll be breaking it down as we go forward. Now, here's the second area. So here we are in the northeastern Caribbean. The second area is a little bit more likely to make more of a curve earlier. With that said, there's Bermuda. So we'll be watching that down the road. And because this second area is over the open waters, it makes sense, and it's not dealing with a lot of wind shear, that that it could strengthen a little bit quicker into a tropical storm just over uh, the next day or so. Now, here's one of the issues. We have these areas that are close to home. This is very warm water in here much of the Caribbean back even through the Gulf really untouched over the last really couple of months as a whole. With that, these water temperatures are pushing 90 degrees in spots, 30, 31 degrees Celsius. So that could really add the uh, fuel to these systems. But there's stuff going on at the surface, but also above our heads. I'm watching the uh, wind shear and all of that. Now, we get a look at what's going on here. There goes Gabriel. This is the European model. Most of the models have a scenario like this. The American model is a little bit different. The American model did a great job, though, picking up on this uh, first area that we've been tracking together on this channel about three, four days ago. Uh, wasn't getting much attention. That was the one we were really focusing on. That's the one that's given us the rain now. But here's the European model. Now, as we go out in time, here's the uh, Caribbean, Jamaica, Cuba, just to orient you, uh, Florida, the Southeast US, watching these fronts. We have the twin systems. This here is Thursday. So you see the additional rain right through here. Then after Thursday, we start to see more development. Could be uh, right near the uh, southern Bahamas here. This is the first area. And then we have the second area back there. I mentioned these fronts. We need to see the timing and strength of these fronts. If these fronts are strong, this could maybe keep stuff more to the east. If the fronts are weaker or just kind of uh, more back to the west, that could allow these areas to move in. The European model has a developing system sitting right on top of the Bahamas as we work our way into Saturday. The strength, that is to be determined, right? But giving it a heads up, we could have a system forming almost right on top of the Bahamas here. There's the other one back behind it. This here is on Sunday. And then as it lifts to the north, this front up here kind of helps grab it. As we get into Sunday and Monday, it could be developing into a hurricane near the northern Bahamas, near the coast of Florida, near the southeast U.S., with the second system back behind it, not far away from Bermuda. Now, another kind of a, a strange thing about this, when you have twin systems, when you have systems that are close by, uh, it's extra hard to forecast, right? Not all systems are the same as far as uh, how easy or hard they are to uh, forecast. Sometimes they kind of rotate around each other. So uh, this is going to be a very tricky forecast. But that's why I'll continue to give you the updates uh, because we've got two systems nearby. Uh, this one could kind of lift up to the north, help pull this one maybe away. That's a possibility. Or uh, again, they could just really not interact too much, but they're close by that adds issues to the forecast. So it's going to be a tricky one. That's just how this scenario is. Now, here's the American model. It's a little bit different. It's not that one's right or wrong. We'll see. Uh, but it's showing this first area, and here's that second area. The American model did an excellent job picking up on that uh, first 
coast area. High pressure out here, the subtropical high. So things have just kind of been rotating around that this season, just like we saw Gabrielle. But these have moved more into the Caribbean. As I've been highlighting that late in this month, we'd get some development nearby. That's exactly what we have. And we're watching these fronts. This is uh, another system out here, Eastern Pacific. This one is going to stay uh, over water over here. Now, here's the first area right in through here, right? This is on Thursday. Here's the second area. Now, this is what all the models are showing at this point. This is the flooding rain. I'm going to zoom down into this, but the American model is just saying, hey, uh, one area is going to take over and the first area just kind of falls apart and the second area will be more of the dominant area. So on, on as, and that could happen. If they get close enough, it's not that they combine. You don't get hurricanes combining or systems combining. One will kind of take over uh, and the other one just kind of falls apart. It shows this area here lifting up toward Bermuda. This here though would be a better scenario for say the Bahamas, maybe the Southeast US. Not necessarily good news for Bermuda. We do not wish a system on anyone, but this is just saying that second system may develop. I'm not sure which one yet, but what I do know is we have two systems close to home. My biggest concern is the rain, and I do expect at least some development out of both of these, and both of these are gonna be very close to the Bahamas, Southeast US, and we are gonna watch them as they continue to give us some of that rain back through the Northern and parts of the Eastern Caribbean. Here's that closer look, and this is tonight overnight. I'll be watching your comments. I'll be going through those, uh, put your location, what you got going on, or, or even if you don't have a whole lot going on, uh, and I'll be going through your comments. That's how we we build this weather community. That's why I appreciate you subscribing. But the rain overnight, then you see by tomorrow, this is tomorrow evening by about 6 p.m., how it shifts. Anguilla, uh, Anagata back through uh, St. Croix, swinging through uh, Puerto Rico at this point. That's where some of the heavier rain could be. Still kind of broken apart. Some islands, not a lot. Others, absolutely getting dumped on. Then Thursday, more rain for Puerto Rico. The British and U.S. Virgin Islands giving that heads up. And even as we work our way into Friday, as this lifts to the north, what happens is it still yanks in some of the moisture and that's why I mentioned very substantial rain totals in Puerto Rico. I can't stress that enough. And the British and U.S. Virgin Islands, we may get hit the hardest with the uh, rain amount. So spread the word about the flooding. Not that we have this uh, giant hurricane moving in. We don't need a named system to, to give us those problems. Substantial flooding over the next three to four days is going to be a, a huge issue. Now, we have Gabrielle out there. That's going to head toward the Azores. The next name on the list is Umberto and then Amelda after that. So again, two systems out there. We'll see which one develops or both of them, but these are the next two names on the list. Whichever one develops first, we'll get the name Umberto. That is the next name. And then Amelda will be the one after that. So two large tropical disturbances, major flood threat. We've already seen the flooding. It is going to get worse. Even if you haven't gotten the rain today, as I showed you, this area as a whole still needs to pull through, watching the rivers, watching the mudslides. And both of these areas could develop, and we are on alert in the Bahamas and the Southeast US. Tomorrow when I join you, tomorrow morning, some areas may need to go into monitor mode, maybe action mode. So in the next video, that's what I'm gonna break down for you, exactly who may need to be, uh, be uh, preparing for the potential of a system. So I'll have that for you in the next video. Again, thank you for your patience, understanding with some of the uh, difficulty with some of these uh, forecasts, but you know I'm working nonstop behind the scenes uh, to give you the best information I can uh, without any hype and just uh, let you know what's simply going to happen or maybe not happen in some cases. So thank you for your patience and I hope you have a good night ahead.